If these walls could talk, they would describe the precision and expertise that went into building this state-of-the-art National Proton Center at Sibley Memorial Hospital here in Washington, D.C. Hello, I'm Kevin Sowers, President of the Johns Hopkins Health System and Executive Vice President of Johns Hopkins Medicine. This is a vision fulfilled built on the pillars of Johns Hopkins science and research history. Every patient who walks into the Proton Therapy Center benefits from our team of experts. Radiation oncologists, medical oncologists, nurses, physicists, researchers. We work as a team, a multidisciplinary team to target the best course of treatment for each individual patient's needs. It's the Johns Hopkins way. And our partnership with Children's National Hospital in Washington, D.C. allows us to treat kids who will benefit from proton therapy by blending the best in pediatric cancer specialists in the National Capital Region. This is the Johns Hopkins National Proton Center at Sibley. Our goal is to eliminate cancer. We have almost 30 years of proton studies. Our goals are to provide patients with world-class cancer care. Our mission is really threefold, so it's important for us to provide the best clinical patient care, uh, but also research in terms of the best clinical trials, as well as education. So providing um, our residents and trainees with the best training uh, in a technology that will really uh, transform cancer care. Proton therapy is definitely uh, the next step in advancing radiation oncology and radiation therapy, um, not only in trying to improve the cure rates and improve the survival um, for patients, delaying the spread of their cancer, even if they're not fully eradicating the cancer. It also has a potential benefit in reducing the side effects, both the short term and the long term. Now we're in this era of personalized Every medicine. Every patient is unique. It allows the body to be able to fight the cancer better. I mean, this is going to be the first class, best proton center for children in the world. Yeah, I, Kurt, I couldn't agree more. To do it now on a global scale, because of the expertise of Children's National and Hopkins coming together, is to try to improve the health and life of those children and their families, I think is, um, uh, we shouldn't sell ourselves short. That is uh, the maximum goal. Just think about the brain of a child. We want to spare that brain. We want to spare that spinal cord. So this uh, proton therapy uh, through this collaboration is just fantastic to be able to offer that to children. This is a real gift to the children that can receive proton therapy because we'll have a large center with very focused child life specialists, pediatric radiation oncologists and oncologists, the uh, entire team, including nursing, will be really dedicated to the children, and I think their care will be um, parallel to the best centers, but also among um, the top in the world. It's critically important to minimize side effects, and proton beam therapy is a way to uh, prescribe very precise radiation therapy just to the tumor and avoid the normal tissue that surrounds the tumor. We are going to have now a tremendous opportunity. There's no exit dose. It's much more targeted treatment. We know from years of study now, we have almost 30 years of proton studies, that children who receive proton radiation often have less of an IQ drop after the treatment of their brain tumors with proton therapy. We know that there's less of a risk of decreases in important hormones. Um, we know that there is better preservation of facial symmetry um, and, and less long-term uh, impact to um, bone growth. The risk of secondary cancers is dramatically reduced. There's no pain, nothing touches them. We are continuing to find areas that uh, really benefit from proton therapy. We have a dedicated unit called a fixed beam room that will be specifically tailored to research. We will be working forward to develop novel technologies that will improve the state of the art, even though we will have the latest state of the art proton center. 
We know that protons potentially are less toxic. This is uh, just so world class. The proton therapy helps to minimize the toxicity. In the setting of protons, we have um, very specific processes that are followed and checks that are uh, carried out for every patient, every treatment. We'll have to be ever mindful always of that Kimmel name. It means the most precise treatment possible. Uh, not only in the care we're providing, but the science and the studies that we're doing here as well. We are going to have now a tremendous opportunity to um, leverage that new treatment modality uh, into our experimental research models. And of course, what we hope to accomplish with that is that now we can provide much more better precision therapy for each individual patient's tumors. Proton therapy is definitely uh, the next step in advancing radiation oncology. We will have a single room dedicated to treating only pediatrics. It's a very exciting time to be involved in research. The important thing is safe treatment. Okay, when the patient moves, okay, the tumor moves, the beam can be off. Okay, so that technology allows us to either aim it when the tumor is the right place or we track it. So those are things that we're gonna develop a, a workflow and, and smart solution. It's another tool in our tool bag. And we have the team together to do it. I would say there's a lot of hope. This is the Johns Hopkins National Proton Center. It can change a life.